Hi everybody. In this video, I am going to talk about picture in distributions with graphs. Under this, you will know about individuals and variables, categorical variables, pie charts and bar graphs, quantitative variables, histograms and stream plots. First, what is statistics? Statistics is the science of collecting, organizing, analyzing, and interpreting data in order to make a decision. Yes, first of all, we should collect the data. How do we collect data? There are many ways to collect data. Collecting data can be as simple as observing something and writing down how it looks or acts. For example, a scientist looking at a chemical reaction in an experiment. Data can also be collected asking several people the same question. You also can write or print questions with the choice of answers for the purpose of gathering information from respondent or you can use a database to collect data. Then we need to organize our collected data. How do we organize? Yes, we can use graphs. Statistical graphs can be used to organize data or we can use tables. Then analyzing. How do we analyze data? I am going to talk about this in my future videos. Then interpreting. Yes, I will talk about this also later. Data, we do have two types of data. Numerical data and non-numerical data. Numerical data, some examples, weight, height, age, blood pressure, and non-numerical data, gender, smoking, non-smoking, hair color. Statistics can be divided into two parts, descriptive statistics and inferential statistics. The descriptive statistics organize, summarize, simplify, display of data, explain data or describe the data. Then what is the inferential statistics? Generalize from samples to populations and hypothesis testing, relationship among variables. So it is about a prediction, make predictions. I am going to discuss these two methods in my future video. Statistics is the collection of methods. First, we should plan our experiment, then obtain the data, then organize the data, then examining data, interpreting and drawing conclusion about the population. Let me explain individuals and variables. Individual, an object described by a set of data. Variable, a characteristic of the individual. Let me explain this using some examples. Consider the following data that was collected about a group of participants in the meeting. We have name and their age, gender, height, hair color. So, what do you think? Individuals should be a name, variables should be the age, gender, height, hair color. Example 2. Airport administrators take a sample of airline baggage and record the number of bags that weigh more than 75 pounds. What is the individual? What do you think? They are taking weights of bags. Therefore, individual should be 
each piece of baggage. We study the most reliable car brands. So then you understand individual should be brand name and variable color, country, year, MPH. Next, variable types. Variable can be divided into two groups. Quantitative, also known as the numeric, and qualitative, also known as the categorical. Then, quantitative variable has two groups, discrete and continuous, and also qualitative has two, ordinal and nominal. Quantitative variable measures a numerical quantity or amount. Discrete data, a finite or countable number of values. As an ex example, number of houses, or you can say number of friends, number of trucks. Here we use only whole numbers. As an example, how many best friends you have? You can say 6, but you never say I have 1.2 friends, 2.3 friends. Because we don't use decimals, only we use whole numbers. That type of variables are called discrete variables. But continuous data, the infinitely many values corresponding to the points on a line interval. Examples, height, weight, voltage, so on. Here you know weight. You can say uh, 160 or 160.5. It is not always whole numbers. Height, maybe 4.3, 6.1. You see, we use decimals. Okay, that type of variables are called continuous variable. Then qualitative. Measures a quality or characteristic. We do have two groups, nominal and ordinal. Nominal Categories not in order, like just name, Toyota, Black, Blue, Red, Rabbit, so on. But ordinal, ordinal variables are similar to categorical variables because they also have a certain number of categories. But they are different in that the categories can be ranked. Yes, there is an order, like you can say, Strongly agree, agree, disagree, strongly disagree. You see, there is an order, and we can say pass and fail. That is also an ordinal variable. And first, second, third, so on. Those are also ordinal variables. Then, distribution of a variable. The distribution of a variable tells us what values it takes and how often. It takes these values. The values of a categorical variable are labels for the categories. The distribution of a categorical variable lists the categories and gives either the count or the percent of individuals who fall in each category. Okay, now let me explain categorical data. The distribution of a categorical variable lists the categories and gives the count or percent of individuals who fall into each category. Yes, here we use two type of graphs. First one is pie charts. What is the pie chart? We have a data set, comedy, action, romance, drama, and sci-fi. First, we should find the percentage. According to the percentage, you can divide a circle. You see action 25%, comedy 20%, sci-fi for 20%, uh, drama 5%, romance 30%. Then we use bar graphs. Yes, think about this data set. We have source and percent who have used. So bar chart is this. This is the bar chart for this data set. For bar graphs, percent don't necessarily at 200. Then I'll go to the quantitative data. The distribution of a quantitative variable tells us what values the variable takes on and how often it takes those values. Here also we use two graphs, histograms. Do you know 
histograms this is a histogram here final scores number of students versus scores so it is a histogram now you'll see the difference between histograms and bar graphs if you consider these two you see the difference what is that in the histogram you don't see any spaces between bars but in bar graphs you see the space between every bars so that is the main difference but you know we use bar graph for the categorical variable and histograms for the quantitative variable then stream plots stream plots look like this when you draw a stream plot you should mention the key you see here as an example key 1 dash 0 which is 10 then we know the first number just 4 if you go to the second line of, of the uh, stream plot you see 1 then dash 2 that means 12 next 1 4 14 if I read numbers from the beginning first one 4 6 12 14 18 so on so histogram is very important to understand the data so in any graph of data look for the overall pattern and for streaking deviations from that pattern you can describe the overall pattern by its shape center and variability you will sometimes see variability referred to as spread an important kind of deviation is an outlier an individual that falls outside the overall pattern yeah outlier what is the outlier it is the unusual points yeah i will explain that later then describing distribution a distribution is symmetric if the right and left sides of the graphs are approximately mirror image of each other like this that is a symmetric shape a distribution is skewed to the right if the right side of the graph is much longer than the left side skewed to the right we call right skewed it look like this it's, this is the right skewed distribution next a distribution is skewed to the left which is called left skewed if the left side of the graph is much longer than the right side it looks like this all right describing distribution how do we use histogram to describe the shape you see first one uniform and symmetrical second one is skewed right then third one the first of the bottom symmetrical and the last one is skewed left so these are the four type of histogram they show the shape of the data set i hope to meet you with my next video thanks for watching this